Hi, my name is Faith Samuel. Um, I'm an African, but the Samuel is very good. So, um, I am the managing director for the Pan African Audiovisual Library here at Tumaini African Knowledge Center, uh, which has been managed by IMR African Consulting. What we do here at Tumaini African Knowledge Center is we're trying to come up with uh, a system where implementation or, or product businesses in Africa are being influenced by African value. We have had so many systems uh, around the world or so many ideas being brought into Africa, but we draw our lessons from how China and Japan were able to succeed in their businesses because they went back and understood their value, how to implement things based on their, their cultural settings, and it's really working for them. So of recent, we're trying to work and see how we can draw uh, a framework uh, which is influenced by African values. And most important, we believe in young people, so the company is run by young people, aside from our CEO to uh, the managing directors and all the management team and also the staff. Uh, we believe in the dreams for young people, we are not just lazy, we have passion for our continent. So far we believe that Africa is building youths that are less confident and they feel like it's better to go to Dubai to go and you know work as a toilet cleaner than to sit back here and build but as builders not just for ourselves but we also believe in also inspiring inspiring young people so we do that through all the projects that we do all all the programs that we run here so we have the Tumaini fireside conversation where we sit in a in a fire setting and we talk about some of the issues or challenges we have in Africa we have the library where we collect preserve and influence with knowledge African knowledge, we're preserving it for the future generations, and also we have uh, the, the entrepreneurship program where we get young Africans that are passionate about entrepreneurship or they have businesses, but then they need that training and skills where we connect them to mentors and all of that. We have advisory services where we connect bankable projects to investors using our wide range of investors and, uh, and also our partners and our board of advisories that have that are from different African countries. Uh, we through them we get to connect um, entrepreneurs in Africa to uh, investments and not just connect them to investment we give financial advisories we take them through the entire process so that when the business comes in they can they are ready to expand their business and also taking back uh, uh, drawing from the opening of the African trade market we are, uh, we're trying to uh, con have market linkage uh, which uh, we are working with the African Development Bank to uh, create market linkage not just for the agricultural sector but for all all the other African products that need to move within African continent. So far currently we are in five countries in Africa. Our headquarters here in Uganda, uh, we are in Kenya, Botswana, Namibia, and uh, Mozambique. Um, in the next, uh, by the end of this year, we're hoping to expand to uh, four more African countries. Uh, as long as time goes, we're going to expand uh, to other areas. Uh, our company is uh, focused on major areas, uh, technology, which is uh, brings us back to the, the library. We're also focused on uh, uh, knowledge that's research uh, we also focus on healthcare. of recent we're working on a project uh, the peacekeeper uh, the uh, Uganda being the hub for uh, or hub, uh, hub for treating peacekeepers in Africa and we also work in the agricultural sector uh, that leads us back to our project with African Development Bank and yes so basically we are everywhere using knowledge to, inf uh, to influence decision making in Africa based on African system, based on research that we've understood the African system and how best uh, we can use that knowledge to influence or make decisions that would better Africa for the future generations. Thank you. Thank you.